And so ethics will be defined as a formal study. Uh, and in, in that study, we're going to attempt to establish a foundation for determining what is good and bad conduct, how we make decisions, how we, how we behave, and kind of what, sh what we should do and why we should do it. Ethics is often subdivided into ethical principles that provide a generalized framework to provide guidance to apply those ethics in our everyday life and or in our um, home care practice. So the there's many ethical principles, and the eight that I'm pulling out to um, talk a little bit about are autonomy, beneficence, maleficence, justice, confidentiality, veracity, and fidelity. For the ethical principles that are called primary ethical principles, there are four of them. So that's autonomy, which is your freedom to decide how you live, it's your freedom to choose, um, as long as you don't hurt yourself or others, uh, you can be very autonomous. It also includes respect for persons, self-determination, and we'll talk later, but really your right to consent and how you do that. Beneficence is a long word. That means that you want to do good for others, that you actively promote the health and well-being of others. And then non-maleficence is kind of like the opposite side of looking at that same a concept, and if we act in a way that it demonstrates non-maleficence, we want to do no harm. We don't want to purposely ever do harm to another um, person as long as we're here in healthcare. And then the last one here is justice, which equals fair, which can look differently in many different kinds of situations. But you want to basically look at e equal treatment for all, or you look at the equal distribution of goods, especially if those goods are scarce. And sometimes you'll see that uh, played out in our uh, distribution of vaccines when we have a short supply.